Welcome. Um, today we're going to be talking about Bespoke, BespokePost.com. If you found this video, chances are that you have seen them, like I did, on Facebook. You saw one of their little advertisements, and you clicked on it, and you are either thinking about it, or you did sign up, and you had a bad experience, and you wonder if everybody else did, or if it was just a fluke. Uh, maybe you saw that they want a credit card up front before even letting you sign up, and that made you nervous. I am here to explain all that to you. We're going to go over Bespoke first, and then we're going to get to the box that we're going to review. I have two different boxes. I have no idea which one, which is which. I ordered two of them this month. Uh, my experience with Bespoke last, it's been about a year, probably October, maybe September of last year. I saw them pop up on my Facebook uh, feed. I thought the stuff they had in there was uh, pretty cool and uh, on their little advertisement. And uh, I was leery. So I went, signed up. I had a coupon code for the first box for like 25 bucks or something. They generally run $45 for all their uh, monthly boxes, subscription boxes. <clears throat> I thought it was pretty neat. Um, so I said, what the hell? You know, I'll go ahead and, sorry, a little jiggly. Uh, what the hell? I'll go ahead and sign up, um, throw in my credit card. If I don't like them, I'll just call my bank and say, hey, if this company tries to charge me anything, don't let them. You know, because they're not authorized to do so. Um, that was kind of my fail safe. Um, so I signed up. I went ahead and ordered my first box. And uh, they, they, things were spelled out really uh, nicely in the uh, introduction to, to their company. One of the things I do like uh, is that you can cancel any month like that box. They give you like seven days to do it. They send you two or three emails from the first to the seventh. Hey, you've got X amount of days left to make a decision. You know, otherwise we're going to auto ship. They do auto pick boxes for you. I'm not sure if they do that via algorithm. I don't know how they do that. But uh, so far, I think I've only bought one or two of the boxes they pre-designated for me. This is one of them. Fuck cool. But uh, they, yeah, I want to say they generally have five or six new boxes come out every month. Plus they have boxes, uh, their most popular boxes from previous months below that in their website. All of them are $45. I have thoroughly for the past year, and I can honestly say this because it's been a lot of damn work. I have thoroughly checked out every item in every box to make sure that it is equal to or greater than the value of $45. Because with a lot of these subscription boxes, Loot Crate, um, they send you a bunch of cheap knockoff shit that really isn't worth what you paid for. You might feel like it is because you really like what's in it, but that doesn't change its actual worth. Um, every damn box has been at the $45 or higher, with most of them being higher. Some of them, I, th I think only two or three have come in at the $45. Um, some of them have, have been, you know, like 50, 55. Others have been at 90, 125. I think one came in at almost 150 one month. Uh, that was the value of it, which is phenomenal. Um, so far, from what I've noticed, all the uh, merchandise they ship comes from small, like your ma pa shop, craft stores, um, specialty makers. I like their knives. Uh, I actually have one with me. Okay. Very high quality knife. I got this, was for 45. Uh, I think retail then their website was like 65. Um, very nice leather case. So um, that's just an example. I have bought, I think, seven or eight boxes from them. Uh, haven't been disappointed yet. I'm super excited for these two. Um, and we are going to uh, dive in in just a minute. If you have any questions about Bespoke, uh, email them. Their customer service is top notch. I've had to talk to them a few times. They've always gotten back with me in 48 hours. They've always had an answer. They've always been on the ball. Um, great group of people over there. They are very honest. They don't hide anything. They don't lie to you. Um, as far as the products you get, uh, like any other product in the world that is made, um, I'm sure there are some that come with flaws. Some that might have problems. Bespoke will get you taken care of. That is one thing I can say. I got one. Um, shit. I don't remember which one it was. But it, it had a broken piece in it. And uh, they immediately shipped me out a new one. It was in perfect working order. So um, I got it like three days later. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't waste any time. So I was really impressed with that. Uh, like I said, you can go in. If, you, if they open up, because there was 
four or five months. I didn't buy any boxes. You know, they, they came out with really pretty cool stuff every month, but nothing that really pertained to me and my lifestyle. So I would just go to manage boxes, skip this month, done and over with. Um, you can also go in to manage boxes. You can swap boxes. If you like a different one or you want another one, you can add one, you can swap them out, whatever it is. You get a confirmation email every time. Um, they, they are real big on communication. So I've, I've been thoroughly pleased with them. They're the only subscription box I've seen, and I've seen a lot over the past few years. They're the only ones I've seen that legitimately look um, honest and upfront. So... Um, that's my overall experience with Bespoke. Uh, like I said in my uh, introduction review, I don't work for them. I've only talked to their customer service um, two or three times. I don't receive any compensation from them. Um, I'm doing these just because I, I firmly believe in what they're doing. And for people that are curious about it, I want you to see what you're going to get. And I want you to know that it's a real deal. So um, that's the end of the introduction to Bespoke. Those of you that are here for the review, here we go. All right. I did order two. One of them was a, uh, I think it's called Siphon. It's an old-timey, like, coffee siphon pot. That's going to be kind of a long video, and I, I hope to God it's not this one, um, because I'm, I'm going to go through it A to B. So the other one was called Canteen. Um, it's a canvas lunch bag with a stainless steel um, bowl and a set of cutlery, also stainless steel. Um, for those of you that are, you know, save the environment and arrest him because he's got a fucking straw, you guys are going to love this box. You fucking hippies are going to love it. I'm not a hippie, and I'm going to love it. So that's why I ordered it. Um, I don't order shit just for the simple fact of, of, ooh, it's pretty, or I might use it once. No. Shit I order from them, I'm going to use all the time. So, here it is. All right. We're going to cover my address. Hopefully you can see it. it comes from Bespoke Post. Typically they use the uh, FedEx to fucking post office shit. I hate that. It's so slow. This one got dropped off by FedEx today. So maybe they're changing that. That would be wonderful, guys at Bespoke. Um, man, it just takes forever. Um, open this one up. As you can see, it's sharp. I took no effort on my part. Okay. And be careful here because one of them is glass. Okay. Pretty sure this is going to be canteen. As you can see, open it up, get inside, get in the shipping box. Pull that out. Oh, I also ordered one of those Duke Cannon bars of soap. They started selling those. So, here's that. That's all that's in that box other than the paper. First, we'll uh, check this out real quick. They claim they're bigger than a normal bar of soap. It's a pretty big damn box. Oh, yeah. That's the Duke Cannon right there. This one is Campfire. It smells like soap. Yeah, there ain't no campfire, campfire in there. But they've gotten really popular they have a lot of ads on facebook and so i wanted to check them out to see if their soaps were any good because for the price i think this was 7.99 that's a shit ton of soap so last you a while um i do vape sorry if that bothers you but i don't smoke anymore quit smoking this is my thing now all right as you can see, I can already tell you this is going to be canteen because that coffee pot would not fit in here, or that coffee siphon. You know. If you uh, comment with any questions, I will do my damnedest to get to all of them. I'm a very busy person, so don't get upset if I don't, or if you hear from me like a week later. Um, all of that's very possible. So. All right. Trying not to shake the shit out of the table. I don't know. I think this table... It's never shut this bad before. I don't know, maybe the legs are going bad or something. And I was right. Now, in every bespoke box you get, as soon as you open it up, it is very neatly packaged. You can tell they package these by hand. You get a little slip in there that tells you what you ordered. And on the back, this one happens to have a recipe. Okay? 
It tells you what's in the box on the front. Uh, cotton canvas lunch bag, leak-proof lunch container, and portable cut, cut, wait, fucking shit to eat with, set by Mizu, M-I-Z-U. Uh, they ship a lot of stuff from him, or them, or her, I don't know. Um, little sticker on there that just says, enjoy. So, let's pull this guy out. I got the blue one. I think there was a green one, too. I don't know. Okay. First thing open was this. This is going to be your cutlery set. You're going to unzip it, and we're going to pull things out. Ah, first thing, stainless steel chopsticks. For those of you that like to uh, use those, there's like two or three ways to hold these guys. Okay? So, they're very lightweight, though. Very lightweight. They're not heavy. Uh, what else we got in here? Ah, yes, this is a brush and a straw. All right, cleaning brush. Okay, here's your straw. Uh, they do have stainless steel straw. And I know a lot of you are going, hmm, right now. Don't fret, they covered that too. Okay, you have your basic knife. Fork. Spoon. And silicone sleeve for the straw. So... Take that out, put that over it just like that, and voila, you've got a straw. So, um, I do think, my personal opinion, I'm not, like I said, I'm not some hippie or activist. I ain't trying to change the fucking world or nothing. But I do think the more of this we can do, the better off we are. You know, um, it all starts with you and me to make those decisions. And then we just pass those decisions on down to our kids and, and show them how to live better. So my only concern with this is that you're going to use these for eating. And let's say you're like me and you work out of your goddamn work truck. You can't wash them before you put them back up. That's going to make the inside of this really damn dirty. So uh, that was one thing that kind of made me leery about ordering this set was that, you know, if you work in an office, hell, this would be perfect for you. But I don't. My office is a vehicle. So there's that. All right, now, buy paper. My other concern was how big is this? Because there's a lot of us out there that work 10, 12, 14 hour shifts. We may need to take breakfast, lunch, and dinner to work. Here we go. Here's your bowl. It's not huge, it's not small. It's just got the standard buckles on it. Does have a gasket in it to make it leak proof. Very nice. This is hand wash only. Okay. And it cannot be obviously microwaved um, or oven safe. This guy, on the other hand, is oven safe and dishwasher safe. So, and you can even put it on your stove top. Um, very handy. So, um, those of you that have access to those things in the daytime while you're at work, you got a perfect, put your soup in here, whatever the hell, chili, heat it up, just don't grab it with your bare fucking hands when you pull it out, okay? All right? Yeah. I know a lot of you are like, who the hell would do that? Right now, there's somebody watching this fucking video that would do that. Keep that in mind. So, uh, size. Fist. Obviously, you got a lot of room in there. Uh, you could easily put a salad in the bottom, sandwich on top, large amount of, of whatever liquid you want in there. Um, good for noodles, pastas, salads, soups. So um, I'm going to be using the shit out of this thing because I eat a lot. I, every day I uh, have chicken breast and salad for lunch. Just take the same fucking thing every day. So that'll be perfect. That's why I ordered it. Now we're onto the canvas bag. This thing actually had a little bit of weight to it. And it's uh, pretty damn big, as you can see. So, you could put this down in there. Put this up top with it. All right, and then, right there, you've got your little loop latch thing. Forgot what those are fucking called. But anyway, fold it over. 
put as much in there as you need. As you can see, it's got multiple loops. And then you just stick it over it. It's hard to do on camera. But anyway. Go in the hole, you brass pecker. Okay, there we go. Now you got it. You can maybe carry it like that, depending on how much waiter is in it. Wait. <laughs> waiter. Um, first con I see with this, there's no other strap to carry it with. So you're going to be carrying it like that. Um, some of you that's a con, some of you's not. Because a lot of you can just throw this in whatever fucking bag you're taking to work with you. Um, cotton canvas, it's not insulated. You're going to have to keep that in mind. So if you're thinking about, you know, getting some hot ass fucking soup and taking this bitch into the woods to go hunting or whatever, or hiking, that shit's going to be cold by the time you get to it. Or if it's hot or if it's cold, it's going to be pretty well room temperature. So, um, I, with it being cotton canvas, I wouldn't throw anything in there as far as an ice pack um you know i work out of my truck so i can put this in the floorboard put the ac on it all day long uh, no big deal to me i am not picky by any means so that's it that's their uh, canteen box this month and the little bar of soap big ass bar of soap i guess just a little compared to the rest of the box but uh that's canteen now, uh, here in a minute, I'm going to go ahead and start filming Siphon. Um, it may be a couple hours before that one goes up uh, because I've got to do some other shit. So, like I said, I'm busy. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're thinking about getting canteen, um, you know, if, if it's something you're going to use on a daily basis or weekly basis, I wouldn't hesitate um, for the, the quality of what's in there. Uh, for just $45, I mean, the bag alone will probably run you between 16 and 30 depending on where you got it um, and what company made it. So it doesn't say on here um, who made the canvas lunch bag or the leak-proof lunch container, just the cutlery set. Um, I do believe the cutlery set on his website, I did look it up. I'm going to say it was $18 or $20 by itself. This was one of those boxes that just broke over even. I think it was rated at like 50 or $54 is what I came up with. Um, but not having the brand name of the canvas bag or the bowl, it's hard to uh, put a uh, price on it. So you just kind of have to get on Amazon and, and figure out what it is. Um, let's do one more search over. There is no stamp on there anywhere to tell you who made it. Um, this could have been made by the, the good people at Bespoke. They may have made these things. I don't know. They may have contracted to have them made. But anyway, stay tuned because coffee siphon's coming up. And those of you that like coffee, if you've ever done any research on coffee siphoning, um, you're going to like this one. Uh, this is a very unique process. You've probably never seen it again, and I'll bet you after you see it, if you're a coffee fan and you don't already have one of these, you're going to log on to their website and probably buy one. My advice, do not buy the ones on Amazon, because I did look there, because I wanted to see if you could get one for less than $45, and you can. And they got really shitty reviews, too, mainly over quality. Before I even open up that box, we're going to talk about all those things, and we'll get into that later. I will hope to see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, my channels or my uh, videos will probably come in waves. So thank you.